The issue is not whether there should be homosexuals in the military. Everyone concedes that there are. The issue is whether men and women who can and have served with real distinction should be excluded from military service solely on the basis of their status. And I believe they should not. Our guests are Lieutenant Dirk Sellen, the open gay naval officer who worked three years on uh, submarine USS Hammerhead. The Navy is discharging him uh, since he came out last January. Now, I am being processed for separation by Navy officials, not because of any misconduct on my part, nor because of a lack of competence or commitment, but because I have acknowledged that I am gay. This is ABC News Nightline. Well, I really feel that this is a time, a uh, time for change. I think the political climate is right, and uh, I've just seen too much discrimination. I see you know, thousands of people a year that are kicked out of the Navy for something that is beyond their control. It's what they're born as. It's what they are, the core of their, of their human being. And if for no other reason, wavering members of Congress should vote to repeal this law for reasons of fundamental human decency. The goal of OutServe is to provide a voice to 65,000 or so uh, active duty gay and lesbian service members throughout the military, a voice that has been effectively silenced. This year, I will work with Congress and our military to finally repeal the law that denies gay Americans the right to serve the country they love because of who they are. It's the right thing to do. The A's are 250. The nays are 175. The motion is adopted. Without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Say to our senators, don't go home. Don't go home. On this vote, the yeas are 63, the nays are 33, three-fifths of the Senate duly chosen and sworn. Having voted in the affirmative, the motion is agreed to. For we are not a nation that says, don't ask, don't tell. We are a nation that says, out of many, we are one. We are a nation that welcomes the service of every patriot. We are a nation that believes that all men and women are created equal. Those are the ideals that generations have fought for. Those are the ideals that we uphold today. And now it is my honor to sign this bill into law. Now we can do that over again. 